How to eat more vitamin C. Vitamin C, also known as ascorbic acid, is a water-soluble antioxidant vitamin that helps control infection, neutralize free radicals, and aid in the body's absorption of iron. It also helps to make collagen, which is vital to the health of teeth, gums, bones, and blood vessels. One, unlike most animals on the planet, humans are incapable of manufacturing their own source of vitamin C, too, so it's one area of nutrition that requires daily attention and restocking. Good sources of vitamin C include any food that contains at least 10% of the recommended daily allowance per serving, and the wonderful news for anyone aiming to increase their intake of vitamin C is that this covers a vast range of healthy food, so it won't be difficult for you to increase your intake of vitamin C understanding vitamin C. Learn about vitamin C Vitamin C is an important micronutrient in the human diet. Some people believe that vitamin C cures or stops the common cold, but there is no strong scientific evidence proving that this is true. What is more likely is that through its immune system boosting power, vitamin C provides extra defense against cold-causing pathogens, 9, so it may ease the cold and perhaps shorten its duration, but it's not likely to prevent it. Understand the role between diet and vitamin C intake. Most people should be able to get adequate vitamin C from a healthy, nutritionally optimized diet. If you're eating nothing but fast food, you probably aren't going to get a beneficial amount of vitamin C as part of your diet. However, simply changing your diet for the better can help you increase vitamin C intake. Since vitamin C counteracts some of the inhibitors in foods, such as phytates in whole grains and tannins in teas and coffee, 10, increasing your vitamin C intake can also help optimize your diet for a healthier lifestyle. Be aware of the relationship between vitamin C and stress. Stress can be brought about due to a depletion of vitamin C, and ongoing stress uses up vitamin C rapidly, K to reference 11, greater than 11, so eating foods high in vitamin C or taking a vitamin C supplement when you are feeling stressed can be a positive contribution to your diet and well-being. If you are aware of what you are consuming and the micronutrients that those foods contain, you can adjust your diet to ensure that you are getting enough natural vitamin C. Notice the signs of possible vitamin C deficiency. While you should always raise health concerns with your doctor or health professional directly, the following signs can accompany a vitamin C deficiency, bleeding gums and nose, poor healing of cuts, fatigue, and lowered immunity to infection. A severe deficiency of vitamin C, in fact, can result in a disease called scurvy, which is caused when your body cannot produce collagen or absorb iron due to a vitamin C deficiency. 13. While fewer people in developed countries suffer from vitamin C deficiency to this extent, its onset can be very fast if vitamin C is not in the diet for about 4 weeks. 14. Those susceptible to scurvy include the elderly, illicit drug users, alcoholics, the mentally ill, dependents given inadequate care, those suffering from eating disorders such as anorexia or bulimia, smokers smokers need more vitamin C to deal with the added stress on the body, and fussy eaters. 15. Be aware that you need to ingest vitamin C daily. Vitamin C does not stay in the body, it needs to be constantly replenished. A big meal of oranges today will boost today's vitamin C, but tomorrow you'll need more. Whatever vitamin C you consume in excess of your daily allowance is usually excreted, and high doses of vitamin C are not considered to be toxic, but they do increase iron absorption which can be a problem for people suffering from hemochromatosis, an iron overload disease. 19. Therefore, if you are already eating a balanced diet, it is unnecessary to take a vitamin C supplement. Also, too much vitamin C can cause abdominal pain, nausea, headaches, fatigue, kidney stones, and diarrhea. 20. 